Today's video is sponsored by AnyFix. With AnyFix, you can fix over 130 system errors, over 200 iTunes issues and problems. You can restore, upgrade, and downgrade your device with AnyFix with a few simple clicks in a very, very easy and efficient way. You also have the ability to restore and reset devices and fix various iOS issues, including entering and exiting recovery mode. So check out AnyFix. Links will be in the description and down below. Hey, what is up, guys? I do myself here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I want to talk about the best privacy features that Apple has added to iOS 14. Now, you may know some of these, but some of these you may not know about, and I wanted to sort of educate you guys on some of the latest improvements to security and privacy on the iPhone with iOS 14. So let's start. The first thing I want to talk about is the camera. The camera now has an indicator up top here. You see a green dot that tells you that the camera is being used on this iPhone. And now if we bring down control center here, we see that it tells us that the camera application on this iPhone has the camera activated. Now this works with third party applications as well. So for example, if I open Snapchat here, we get the indicator up top here. And if we go to control center, we see that it tells us that Snapchat is using the camera on this iPhone. So if for whatever reason, the camera is active in the background and you're not aware of it, now iOS will prompt you by giving you the indicator. And then in control center, you can see exactly which application is using the camera. Now, I also want to talk about the microphones built into your iPhones because these can also be activated in the background. So for example, if you open the memos application and you start capturing audio, you now get this orange dot indicator up top here. And again, once again, if we go to control center here, we see voice memo is using the microphone. It gives you the indication there that the microphone is active and this also works with third party applications as well in case those applications do activate that microphone in the background. Next, I want to talk about some features within the settings application. Now, Apple has added a really cool feature under privacy that allows you to authorize the tracking of your device and your information. Now, have you ever been browsing through your iPhone, searching for something, and then you go into a social media application, for example, let's say Facebook, and then you see an advertisement directly pertaining to what you were just previously searching? Well, that is tracking and tracking is now a new feature on the iPhone that Apple is now requiring developers that are looking to track to advertise to let you know and then you have to allow it to happen on your iPhone. So if we go here to learn more, it says here Apple is requesting developers to ask for permission before tracking your device across application and other websites that they do not own. As I mentioned, you may be browsing on another application and a different app could be tracking you to advertise once you jump into their app. And as you can see down here, things like your user ID, device ID, and email can be shared with this information if you allow third-party applications to track you across the software you never want to turn this feature off this is a great feature an awesome privacy feature that Apple put in place for developers to have to ask you if they can track you across the platform to advertise and last but not least I want to talk about passwords Apple has added an awesome feature under passwords to tell you if one of your passwords or username has been compromised in the past so if you use face ID or touch ID to log in and enter the automatic fill for the passwords and the logins on your iPhone then this feature now tells you if there's been any compromises to your passwords and it tells you exactly where to go to change that password and no longer be compromised right so you can click on here security recommendations once you click on there it'll show you the passwords that have been compromised the usernames and it will redirect you to change those and that to me is one of the best privacy and password protection features built into iOS 14 that wasn't there before and I'm happy that it is there now let me know if you knew all of these thank you for watching today's video guys and I'll see you real soon peace